Hi everyone, welcome to Facebook Thursday. Today I'm featuring these products as you see here. I'm using the Lemon Zest stamp set, which has all of these beautiful images in it. And I'm focusing also on the Tutti Frutti Suite. So I'm using the Designer Series paper from the Tutti Frutti Suite, as well as the sequins as you can see here. So let me just get this out of the way and I'm gonna mention a couple of things to you. Um, we'll start off with a couple of drawings and as you know um, I appreciate you sharing my videos and also my posts with your friends on Facebook and Pinterest so I reward people for doing that via uh, some Stampin' Up! products so I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these up and start off with a couple of drawings and the first one is gonna get this Falling Petals embossing folder it's a 6 by 6 embossing folder so let me see who the first one is, Shelly Jeffrey. So congratulations, Shelly, you're going to be getting that in the mail. And the next one is also the Celebrate You Thinlet Dies, and that is going to be in the new catalog. So let me see who's going to be the lucky person for that. Brenda Bauer. So I believe you haven't won before, so that's good. So those are for those two people. And as you know, each week... I have my project sheets live on my blog at stampingala.com so you can print these off for your convenience and it has all the sizes that we're going to use today, the dimensions, and also the products. So you can go ahead and print this off now or you can wait um, till after the um, video is done and you can um, have those for your records when you um, recreate these projects. All right, so the first thing we're going to make today is this birthday card. And um, it, again, it's done with the lemon zest. So we're going to bring in the products. A couple of the things I did offline to save some time. So this first piece we're going to have to score. So let me bring in my scoreboard. And we're just going to score this at five and a half. So this is... 11 inch sheet of cardstock by four and a quarter. People sometimes ask me why I choose to um, have my card open this way. And what I like about it, as opposed to the five and a half by eight and a half way, is it stands up better for you when you when you have it on display. So that's why I do that. All right, so we're gonna bring in the lemon lime twist and offline. I took this piece of Whisper white paper and I used the scattered sequence um, embossing folder and embossed it for you first. So if this is a product that you like, I have a feeling that this embossing folder is going to be discontinued. So if it's something that you like, you probably want to get it soon. Also, on Monday the 9th, Stampin' Up! is going to release the discontinued list. So you might want to check my blog for that. If there's anything you like on those um, discontinued products, again, you want to get those right away too because once they're gone, they're gone. Okay, so I'm snailing a piece of the Tutti Frutti Designer Series paper here at the bottom, and I'm making certain that the border is all the same. And then I'm going to add a piece of the Tutti Frutti in the Lemon Lime Check right in the center to pull this together. Also, if you like these products, you want to make sure that you place an order by Monday the 9th because Tuesday, when I get up, I cut all the products and I send them off to you. You get all three make and takes for a minimum $30 order on my online store. And again, you can catch that at stampinggala.com using this emboss or this um, hostess code. Okay, we're putting this on the card. All right, if you notice, I have some of the silver baker's twine behind the um, lemons and the limes. So I'm going to take that. And all I did was I put a little bit of snail on here on the card. And I'm just going to wrap this around my hand a little bit. Not too much. 
and I'm just going to place it on here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, you don't want it perfect. Just kind of like that. Now, keep in mind that each time it'll be slightly different. All right, we're going to do some stamping now. We're going to bring in the lemon and stamp this. And I'm using Daffodil Delight. And we're going to punch it. I'm going to punch it out. And I might need to cut it down a little bit to get it in the punch properly. Yep. This is a what they call a builder punch, which means that it has the leaves on there as well, so you build the final um, image or project. All right, so we're also going to stamp the lime, and we're using the lemon lime twist for that. And I need another piece of scratch paper. And this one is punched out with the one and three quarter inch punch, circle punch. Just like that. And then lastly, we need a couple of the leaves. I'm doing this one by one because how the punch is set up, what will happen if I don't do it one by one, I can punch, uh, stamp the image and it, um, I'll punch over top of the other things. It makes a mess also. So we have almost all the pieces. Now we need the other leaf. One last punch and we're almost done here. Okay, I did, for the other projects, I did punch them offline, stamp and punch them offline. Okay, so we're just going to put this together now. I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of the line. Just put this about right here. And then, of course, some um, dimensionals behind the lemon. And you want to put them just um, on the one side, otherwise it won't fit your card correctly because it'll be kind of lopsided. The lime is already up on dimensional, so you just want it to the, to the left. Okay, so we have that. And we want to be able to slide happy birthday under there as well. Now we're going to put the one with the stem on here with just snail. And then finally, I like to put the next one up on dimensionals. I've had lots of requests for um, a bow class, so I may be doing that shortly with um, online teaching you how to make a bow. Now, I'm just going to show you real quickly. I just put the ribbon across my two fingers and wrap around on the bottom. I go through the top and through the center, bring it back through, and I'm going to go right under this one loop and pull it tightly. Now, if you notice, my other thumb and finger did not move at all. So I'm just going to pull this tight and then take it off my fingers. There you go. And just trim it. We're going to attach this with a glue dot right here. 
Okay. Um, we're also going to add a couple of um, the sequence. So one here, and if you notice, these are like the lemon lime, but they also have in the same pack, we have yellow too, which I'm going to add a yellow. It also has pool party, um, looks like berry burst, and also pumpkin pie. Okay, so those are done. Now we're going to just stamp the happy birthday to put on there. And here's the strip. And I'm going to stamp it in lemon, or yeah, lemon line. Okay, hopefully I'll get it straight. Yep, that's good enough. This is going to slide right under there, so I'm going to need to trim it some. And the dimensional is just going to go on the end. And we're going to put snail on the other part because it's already lifted on that side. This is going to slide right in here. Oops, i got to pull it out some. Okay. All right, so we have that done. Now we're going to do the inside. Let me show you what the inside looks like. So I already used the um, this stamp with lemon lime, so I want to clean it off because I'm going to use the um, lemon this or the the daffodil delight this time. All right, and I stamped off twice. So let me show you. I'm going to bring in this piece of Whisper White cardstock ink this up and stamp off twice and I'm going to stamp this right in the middle. Okay, so it's very light. Then, what did I do with my stamp set? Let me come back to that. We're going to put the other pieces on. You see my stamp set? I'm going to put this right across here. And also we have a piece of the designer series paper. I found it, Adam. We're going to put this across as well, just for a little bit of trim. Okay? And trim off the ends. Remember to place your orders by Monday and you'll get these items, these three make and takes in the mail. Okay, so I do need to stamp the, let me see what it says, live it with zest. So I'm going to take this off of here, use this black, and this one we're going to stamp right on top of the Daffodil Delight here in the Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm just going to center it right over that. It came out perfectly. So we're going to add this to a piece of Lemon Lime Twist. And put this on. All right, now what I like to do is add some um, baker's twine on the inside. I like baker's twine because it doesn't um, add a lot of bulk to the inside of the card. So just tie this in a knot. Now if you would like to see a video on bow tying, just leave me a message. Let me see some of your message messages here. Also, Stampin' Up! is coming out with their new catalog very soon. We get to see it on April 9th, the demonstrators. So, if you are not a demonstrator, and if you're not currently working with a demonstrator, I'd love to send you a catalog if you think that you're interested in doing business 
with me in the future. I would like to earn your business and I'll send you a catalog for free. Okay, so we're going to snail this down. And here is your first card, first project. Okay, I hope you like this card. So we're going to move on to the next project now. The next project we're going to make is this little box right here. Got it tied up. And I am going to make a couple of changes to it, so I'll show you as we go along. Let me see if there's any messages I have to look at. I see a lot of people are interested in a bow tying class, so I will do that not on a Thursday, but um, maybe some other time within the next week, I'll put together a small bow tying class. So we're going to go ahead and make this project. So I need my scorer in. Okay, and we're going to start off with a piece of eight and a half by eight and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to score this at two, four, six, and eight. And it doesn't matter what side you start on because it's a um, perfect square. We're going to turn this sideways and we're going to score it at two. Okay? While we have this out, I'm going to bring in this piece of designer series paper, and this is five and an eighth by five and an eighth. We're going to score this at one and a half on all four sides. And then we'll be done with the scoring on this project. By the way, if you're wondering what's in this box, I'll show you in just a second. It has um, crystal light, um, six things of crystal light in there. So what we're going to do is fold on all score lines. Don't forget this score line. Okay, and what we're going to do is cut this little rectangle out, but we're going to also put an angle on it here. All right, so we're also going to cut up on all these, these three score lines all the way up to the um, cross score line, which is this way. These boxes are really easy to do. You want to take your tear and tape and cut some of this off. All right, I like to put it on my wrist. I can control it a little bit better. And what you're going to do is put it on this little fold line right here, close to the score line, but don't go over it, as you can see right here. See, it's folded over. So what you're going to do is just take this off now and fold this in half and fold that over top. And it's perfectly matched. Now this is going to be the back where the fold line is. So what you're going to do is fold the sides in first. And what I like to do as I'm doing that is put a little bit of glue on there. And fold that down. And since this is the back, you want the back to go in first and the front last. So we're going to, let me see the back. Okay, so the back, this one's going to go. I'm going to put some more glue on here. Fold that one in, and then finally the front. So there's your box bottom. All right. Now what we're going to do is bring in the top. You're going to fold on all score lines.
This is so simple to put together. For those of you that do craft shows, this would be a very easy item to make for craft shows. All right, so what we're going to do is bring the scissors in and cut on the score line both sides right up to the fold and then you're going to angle this off. And do the same thing right on the other side up to the score line and then cut it on an angle. All right, we're going to put some glue on here. And I just used Tombow. Going to fold that in, meet it at the corner. You do have to hold it for a second. Same thing. So you're going to do this on all the corners. One of my readers um, on Facebook, is it's her birthday today. Her name is Julie Thompson. So happy birthday, Julie. I hope you have a good day today. We're going to hold this one as well. And finally, the last one. Add glue in there and hold it. All right, so this is going to go right on top just like that. Okay, all right, if you notice, I have um, two lemons, but I'm going to change it to a lemon and a lime, so all projects will have a lemon and a lime. Okay, so I do need to bring my Big Shot in again. And I'm going to use a piece of lemon, lime, and a piece of Whisper White. And the Whisper White, I'm going to use the Stitch Framelits, the second largest. And then we're going to use the scallop circle from the layering circle dies and run these through. Get this out of the way. Okay. I'm just going to snail these two together. And I have to get a punch. This is a handheld punch, and I'm just going to punch a little hole in here. I can hardly see it, so I know my I need a little bit bigger. So before I put the other pieces together on here, I'm going to run this right through here. I need to cut this off a little bit. I'm getting it frayed just a second. If you have a hard time threading needles, you can get some of these from your dentist or the drugstore and they work great. You can just push this through here and also put this in here if I can get it. And then just pull it through and it threads it for you. Just 
going to leave this up like that. Okay, so now we're going to add this on here. So we're just going to add the, the lime first. I'm going to put this on here. I stamped this off line. And then we're going to add the lemon with dimensionals. I feel like I'm all thumbs today with these. And again, we're going to add the leaves. The first one's going down with just snail. And the second one is going to have a dimensional. I think I like this better than the two lemons. Okay. So next I'm going to take some more baker's twine and I'm just going to double it over and I'm going to tie a bow. With baker's twine what you want to do is hold it tightly so it doesn't twist on you. A lot of times it'll twist if you don't hold it really tightly. And then I just cut all of that off. And we're going to add this on with a glue dot. I'm going to take my scissors and add it. Okay, just like that. All right, so now we're going to bring the um, ribbon in. This ribbon is really pretty. It's our mini um, striped ribbon. And what we're going to do is just make a bow with this. We're going to tie it, up, tie it across the box. And then we'll add the tag. You always want to get the knot really tight. It makes the bow look prettier because it makes the little loops more puffy. and cut these on an angle always. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to add it to the the ribbon here. And I'm just sliding it under. And we're going to tie it in a knot. And then if you want, you can add a dimensional or a glue dot so it stays in place. It's up to you. But don't tie it all the way up because then it looks kind of funny just too close. Okay. So I'm going to trim off the excess baker's twine. And here's the second project. Here's the difference between the two lemons and the lemon in a line. So I, I tend to like this one better. But anyway, inside here I have these Crystal Light Lemon Iced Tea. And there's, um, looks like six of them in a pack. It comes in a plastic container, but I wanted to make a box for it. So I'm going to move this out of the way. So there's your second project. So now we're going to move on to the third, and this will be the third project, okay? Let me just clean this up a little bit, and we'll move on. And I do want to close some of these because they'll dry out. 
And let me look at some of the, the messages here. We have a lot of people watching tonight. I see somebody said they don't know where to find the downloads. Um, what you want to do is go to stampingala.com and you'll find them there. It actually says project sheets and you just click on them and you can print them off right there. Okay, so what we're going to do to make this, what it requires, this is from our Lots to Love Framelit dies, lots to love box, framelit dies, comes with 10 dies. To make this box, so you do need to cut two of these box sides of the boxes out. Okay. And what I did here is after I cut the two boxes out and before I put them together, I cut a hole in the front one. And I'll show you how I did that as well. So let me bring the big shot in. I did cut one offline, so you didn't have to watch that twice. I'm going to put this on here. And of course, I'm using Daffodil Delight. I'll cut this out. I got to keep this close by because we're going to use it again in a second. Okay, just pop this off of here. Great, I didn't get it all the way. I'm going to run it back through again. This should be good to go. Let me make sure. I don't know why it didn't cut all the way through. There, it did it that time. Okay. Maybe I had it off a little bit and didn't know it. Okay. So what you're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to snail a piece of the... Um, Tutti Fruity Designer Series paper right on the front. It has to be, um, I like to put it on there first before I cut it out. Okay, I'm going to center it between, let me show you here, there's two score lines here and here, and you want it centered in between there. So, we'll put this down. That looks good right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring the big shot back in and we're going to use this die. Lay it that on there. I tried to use a punch, but it just it's very difficult and it um, cuts the side of the um, box here and it just doesn't look as attractive. So bring this back in. Put this right in the center, a little bit lower, center from top to bottom, but from this way you want to have it a little bit towards the bottom. Oh, and this way is the bottom actually. All right, so we'll put this on here, and it's just going to cut the circle out. Usually what I do is I always pop this over and make sure it is indeed cut out and it was. So we're done with the big shot for tonight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of our fat, this is called our fabulous um, foil acetate designer series paper. There's three different designs. One side is gold and one side is silver. It does come with a, a piece, it's like protected with this clear plastic coating and you just have to take that off before you use it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of snail on here. And I want the silver side showing. So when you're putting this down, you want to see the gold. So 
So I'm putting that down and then it creates the window, okay? So now this is gonna be the front of the box. So we wanna make sure that we score on these score lines. Okay, and since this is going to be the front of the box, we want to add the uh, um, sticky strip right in there or a tear and tape. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. I like this tear and tape because you can just rip it with your fingers. And the kind we had before with the, the red um, sticky stuff over it, the cover it would always stick to you and I couldn't stand that okay we're gonna bring the other one in and fold on the fold lines I made some really cute boxes with this at Valentine's Day as well and for my crop ladies if you're local to the Canton Michigan area I do classes every Saturday morning and I have clubs all the time as well so what we're going to do if you're interested in in joining any of those just send me a, um, a message and I'll be happy to give you the information okay so I'm taking off this the tops of the the tear and tape just like that now it's going to go the um, flaps are going to go the opposite way so what I did was I laid this down and I want to follow that line right there you don't want to go over that line so just like that and then you're just gonna bring this over and connect these two sides so it'll go right there all the way down Okay, so this becomes the bottom. Okay, and then this part is the top. And you just can close this in. There. All right, and then all we have to do is decorate it. So I'm gonna take the, the line I'm going to put this right here and then again the lemon is going to go on dimensionals and if you want to put candy in here what I did was I just took some a plastic um, treat bag that I had you probably have treat bags laying around or you can just use a baggie and put that in there and put fill the candy in that. I don't like to have the candy just open. You're going to add the leaf and this one up on dimensionals. Just like that. Okay. We're going to add a bow. So again, we're going to take this ribbon across the two fingers here, wrap it around come across the bottom and I cut it off about six inches from my pinky okay again we're going to go up through there and back in the center in the front and then this loop right here I'm going to go up and over and out just like that okay pull it tight and then trim off the edges, the ends. We're going to add a glue dot. And all you have to do is add the candy. These make great favors for weddings or showers anything like that and you just decorate them appropriately okay so we're gonna bring back in some of the sequins 
and I like to use both the lemon and the lime. Put one here. I'll put one here. Okay. So here are your three projects, and you can see here, you can see the lemon um, heads in there. Let me bring in this. And also the card. So there you go. Let me look at my iPad and see if there's any messages. Looks like this is stuck. For some reason, my iPad won't move. But anyway, what I wanted to tell you is to make sure that you place your minimum $30 order before Monday using this code, and you'll get all these three make and takes in the mail from me. Watch my blog for our retired list that's coming out soon on Monday. And also, um, I'm asking for your help to please share this video and share my products from my blog on Pinterest. And that helps me to get more exposure to keep, continue doing these videos for you. And if you do not have a current Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you'd like me to be your demonstrator, just send me an email and I'd love to send you a catalog at no charge um, so you have one of your own. Let me check these out and see if there's any other messages that I should know about. I will be um, looking through these messages after and respond to anything as well. But anyway, I want to thank you for your attention, and I hope you enjoyed these products, and make it a great night. Bye-bye.